Okay, this is just a really quick little clip uh, to show the difference between rendering a gloss material and a matte material in Photoshop. And this information is just as applicable to traditional media, in particular using marker. On the front here, we're using a cylinder in a matte material, and we're going to contrast that against a gloss material at the back there. The key point with matte materials is the transitions as you move from the dark face to the lit face of the object is uh, smoother and the tonal range is less so we don't get the, sh the, the, the stark uh, reflective highlights that you would get on a gloss material. So you can sort of see there we've got a smooth transition. Now I've just used the colour picker just to make sure we've got the same colour. We're dropping in an underwash to get a sense of the, the, uh, the object at the back there. And notice in this particular case I'm not covering the, the Photoshop materials, it's just the basics of the rendering here. So we're getting darker tones in place and we're setting those against the lighter tones so we get uh, striations of, of tone as we move around the gloss material. So there's that sense of, of reflective surface that you don't get with the, the matte material. Okay. Also, you'll find with gloss materials is they pick up the surrounding colour of the environment more directly than matte materials. So it would pick up a sky highlight or something of that sort. Right, we've just used the magic wand tool just to, to grab uh, the selection on top of the, uh, the gloss uh, cylinder at the back there. Again, you'll notice that we're running the, uh, the wash across the surface of the material and it's a lot lighter because we're getting the majority of our light source coming from the top in this particular case in comparison to the vertical surfaces of the object. Okay, so you can sort of see the difference uh, pretty clearly there. Uh, gloss materials, sharp highlights, strong gradation of, of, of contrasts, and, and, and the, sh the transitions are fairly sharp, whereas on the uh, matte materials we get a smooth transition as we go around. Okay, just putting in a small stroke at the top where you've got a transition of surface, that's where you'll get a highlight line. So there'll be a small white reflective highlight as we move on to the edge of the object. Now in this particular case I'm just doing it relatively quickly. So again, you can sort of see on the top of the surface we're getting more of a true reflection of, or supposedly a true reflection of the adjacent light source, whereas on the matte material we get a smoother, more even wash without the stark transitions, without the highlights on them. Okay, hopefully that's of some help. Uh, we're just throwing on a quick lens uh, filter just uh, for interest, a lens flare. Again, just to fool around and create a sense of highlight. And that's it. Okay, good luck everybody. Thanks.